Good afternoon, this is Ibn Bakari from Lights and Cyrus International, and today we are here in Roger Williams Park hosting our annual Adopt a Family Thanksgiving Turkey Drive. We are here represented by the U.S. Marshals, the Rhode Island State Police, Providence Police Department, North Smithfield, uh, East Providence, and we also have members of the community uh, that have come out and we are helping the community be able to celebrate Thanksgiving by providing turkeys and food for those less fortunate so that they might be able to have a meal to celebrate with their family this year. We are so grateful that we have the opportunity to be doing this event and we have had over 56 volunteers to help us to distribute these turkeys. We have get, we're going to be giving away a total of 1,000 turkeys today and we want to thank those that have helped us to make this possible. We have to give thanks to United Way. We have to give thanks to Esperanza Hope. We have to give thanks to the law enforcement agencies as well as the community, Pucho Express, the shipping company that helps provide the shipping for us to do our uh, missionary work in the Dominican Republic. But more importantly, they also stepped up and took the names of over 600 individuals to register for this event. We're continuing to focus on bridging the gap between law enforcement and the minority community and we were just able to do that by having the representation of all of the uh, law enforcement agencies, even including the Mountie Division for the Providence Police Department here. We hope that as we end this year, in this holiday season, that folks continue to focus on the five principles that we have been working on. Ego, accountability, implicit bias, profiling, and conflict resolution. If we all can focus on these five principles, this is something that could be applied not only to the conflict with law enforcement and minority community, but it could also be associated with coworkers, family, friends. And by us doing that, we all are able to come together and make this world a better place. I would like to now have Wilda Gutierrez come over and explain to you her position on this and also to the Latino community that we support. Hello, I'm Wilda Gutierrez, I'm founder and president of the nonprofit Esperanza Hope. We are very happy to be doing this event once again. Um, we just want to help the community and just spread kindness in the community. We, in addition to this, we have all the events coming up that will be at that family for Christmas, where we are at different families and we surprise the families and the children with um, gifts for Christmas. And we are here continue to help the homeless and providing services to the children in the Dominican Republic. Thank you for supporting our nonprofit organizations. Thank you so much, Wilda, for chiming in on that. Again, our two nonprofits have come together to try to work together and help the community as we've been doing. And we hope that these, these uh, seminars and these documentary pieces that we're doing is helping folks to change their narrative about the perception of law enforcement, as well as law enforcement changing their perspective of the minority community. We can do this together, and I'm looking forward to 2022 as we start the new year by continuing our mission by helping those less fortunate and bridging the gap between the law enforcement and minority community. Thank you and happy holidays.